it's Ryan and welcome back to my channel. This week I'm going to be showing you four tricks that you can use to freak out your friends or your family or the eternal stranger if that's what you want to do um, at Halloween. So I'm trying to make these like all levels, like beginners and advanced, but you do need a base amount of strength and flexibility for, for all of them. So yeah. I will leave some links in the description to some stretching routines because before doing any of these tricks you need to make sure to stretch and yeah, let's get into it. The first trick that we are going to be doing is probably the one that has the most steps to learn. However, this trick does not require a huge amount of back flexibility, but it does need quite a bit of leg strength. I will leave a link in the description to my workout to get strong and powerful legs. To start off, we are going to learn to do some up and downs as shown on screen. When doing this, make sure that your knees are over your feet. You also need to make sure that your hands are on your hips and that your upper legs are straight and aligned with your upper body. Keeping these aligned is the main difference between this and a squat. Once you are able to do five of these in a row, you can move on to trying to hold the position. The next step is to learn how to do a crab. Next, you need to learn how to fall in the crab. Then, you need to try and stand up from it. When standing up, try and push your knees over your feet. This will propel you forward and therefore allow you to stand up. Next, go into a bridge in whatever way you get into a bridge. And from here, you need to try and stand up. For this, I would recommend doing it on a higher surface and then gradually lowering the object. Next, you need to work on switching between the crab position and a bridge. Finally, you need to put all of these steps together. This trick is quite advanced, so don't worry if you don't get it immediately. Just keep working on it. The second trick I'm going to be showing you is a turning back bend. To do this, you already do need to know how to do a bridge. Start in a crab position with one arm lifted. You are then going to bring your lifted arm around and place it behind you to go into a bridge. Then lift off the hand that was originally on the ground and turn it around the other side, the same way you did the first arm, to come out of the bridge. I will leave a link in the description to a previous tutorial I have done which goes a bit more into detail on how to do a turning back bend. Once you've got it, you can work on speeding up that whole process. So just do it a couple of times and try and get your turning even quicker. The final step is to do it from standing. Now you don't have to do this step, but it does look a bit more cool and you are able to do it more suddenly, which obviously creeps people out more. To do this, simply stand and put one hand on the ground as if you were going into a crab like we did in the previous one. Then from there, just do the regular turning back bend that you were doing in the last one, trying to do it as quickly as possible. The final trick I'm going to be showing you is a walking back bend. To do this, start off by going into a bridge in whatever way you can do it. Then walk your hands forward and then repeat the same thing with your legs. Once you're able to do this, you need to make it more smooth and fluid. To do this, alternate walking your one hand and the opposite foot forwards and then do the same on the other side. And then you just need to learn to speed it up and do it a bit quicker. I just want to add in one little tip if you want to make this your Halloween tricks extra spooky is you can take some like pasta or some hard sweets just anything that like makes a real crunch sound and then you can like hold it in your mouth and then when you're doing the trick just put it between your teeth and it makes a really cool sound and it sounds like you're cracking your bones which if you're doing like contortion tricks is really cool because it's like you can trick them into thinking that 
like you're making your bones like break when you're doing this so that one's like one I really like you can also do that with like if you're doing more simple tricks like just leg hold and stuff like that it makes it spooky it makes a regular trick spooky and then one last thing so for these tricks I was like doing it in not my like, normal clothes I wear for contortion simply to show that you don't really need contortion clothes I'd say for like legs you want to have something you can move in so leggings shorts tracksuit bottoms whatever I wouldn't recommend skirts or jeans and then when it comes to the top if you can do a bridge in it it's fine yeah and then for the and then for the hair you just whatever you're comfortable with like being careful not to step on your hair if you've got long hair because that hurts I've done it many times anyway that's all I wanted to say also dangly things ribbons whatever you can step on which can be quite dangerous especially if they're like a necklace or something if you step on that you're kind of strangling yourself so I just be careful with that anyway enjoy spooking your friends out or whoever you want to spook out and happy Halloween mm -hmm.